Camels are well known for their distinctive humped backs. These creatures hump store fat deposits that they use as sustenance when outward food and water sources are lacking. Their ability to metabolize stored food for extended periods makes them good pack creatures. Camels are famous for their distinctive humps, but they also have other distinctive traits that make them well suited for living in desert conditions. Notably, camels have the power to close their nostrils to prevent sand infiltration. They also have two rows of long lashes and a third eyelid. Both layouts help to protect their eyes in harsh atmospheres such as sandstorms. They also have thick hair that helps to protect them from the increased sunshine in their environment as well as padded feet to help withstand the hot temperatures of the desert floor. Camels are naturally between 6 and 8 feet in height and 9 to 12 feet in length. They can weigh up to 2,300 pounds. Other bodily traits of camels include long legs, long necks, and a protruding snout with big lips. While we associate camels with extraordinarily hot temperature environments, their habitat can also include incredibly low temperature environments. They form a protective coat in the winter to help with the cold and clear the coat in the summer months. Camels are active during the day. They survive on vegetation like low-lying grasses and other thorny and salty plants. To reach such low-lying plants and grasses, camels have developed a split upper lip system so that each half of their upper lip can move independently, which helps them eat low-lying plants and grasses. Similar to cows, camels regurgitate or reiterate food from their stomach back up to their mouths so they can chew it again. Camels can hydrate themselves faster than other mammals. They have been purported to drink roughly 30 gallons of water in a little over 10 minutes. Humans and camels have a long history together. Camels have been used as pack animals for centuries and were possibly trained in the Arabian Peninsula between 3000 and 2500 BC. Due to the unique features that allow them to withstand desert travel, camels help to promote trade. There are two main kinds of camel, Camelus bactrianus and Camelus dromedarius. Camelus bactrianus have two humps, while Camelus dromedarius have one. A third kind, Camelus ferus, is closely related to Camelus bactrianus but lives in the wild. Camels travel in groups made up of one superior male and several females. A male bull's pinnacle fertility, called rut, happens at various times during the year based on kinds. Males will normally mate with half a dozen or so females, although some males can mate with over 50 females in one season. Female camels have a gestation period of 12 to 14 months. When it is time to give birth, the expectant mother normally separates from the main group. Newborn calves can walk shortly after birth, and after a period of a few weeks alone, the mother and calf rejoin the larger group. Single births are the most common, but twin camel births have been reported or documented.